beat dramedy. I'm not changing the name. <laughs> Hard plastic comedy with Hillary Herbert and Josh Edelman over there in the corner. So with a this, which means don't worry, Josh, I got plenty. We don't need you. Chime in though. Don't put your phone in your hand right away. It's so annoying. I. It's so this annoying. This is your audience right here. Would, this is, would Michael Blaustein? Yeah, but it's more comfortable than you're not in record, the room. I don't record. Because you know what it feels like. <laughs> it feels like I'm at an open mic. But I'm listening. I'm letting you know. And, and it's it's you, just demoralizing. You, you know why I think. You know why. You know why I think the phone is good. Why well, I'm gonna argue. From a, well, you're t- you're gonna tell me why how I feel about it's wrong. Not, okay, not, go not ahead, how Josh. How you feel about it, but 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 it it elicits the more accurate experience of what listening to the podcast is like for me. Because you know when I listen to podcasts, I'm like doing work on my computer or something. So it's like, I'm, oh, this is this is entertaining. Josh doesn't know that AI I'm... is gonna take over his job really soon. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have. Uh, Richard Pryor be my my sidekick. You would not have as much fun with Richard Pryor. <laughs> okay, this is how I wanted to start the episode. To the feet, people. We love you. We appreciate you. We have started an OnlyFans. Josh didn't know this. Ooh, you didn't see my post today? Put up a little teaser post. Okay. So as as we discussed the other day, most of my most of my scrolling through Instagram is to just get past all the stories so that they're recorded. <laughs> and right. that, you know, it's I think it's more of an OCD thing for me, just clicking on all the stories than anything else. Great. So Josh doesn't um, pay attention when I come here to do the podcast and he doesn't look at the media when he's by himself. OK, great. So what's the point of having your phone in your hand, Josh? What's <laughs> So I can scroll through people. Okay, we're moving on. Feet people. (laughs) We've started in OnlyFans. It is hard underscore plastic comedy on OnlyFans. You can go. I can't put the link, I think, in the YouTube, but in the YouTube that you're watching right now, I do have our Instagram listed, which also doesn't link, but it's also hard underscore plastic comedy on Instagram. And... There I have Linktree, and the last one is the OnlyFans. Now, I have set the price. It, you can set it, the, the, the monthly rate, from $4.99 to $49.99. I set mine at $49.99 because I'm worth it. I It's just, you know, I've looked some around. People, some people get off on spending the more money. I've looked around enough to know. That I'm the one I want to spend my time with. So it's it's worth the price. I do have some discounts. They let you, they make it real easy. Uh, they didn't make it real easy for me. They didn't like think I was who I said I was. I had to, anyway. It's all set up. And I think the first like 20 people get a discount. I think there's a couple different discount options on there. For a certain amount of time you can go see it but go check it out I've put up some content I recorded a little content yesterday because I was earthing in the woods Did you know what earthing is Josh when you go barefoot out in nature I was earthing in the woods and I was communing with nature and it went oh my god this is the perfect place to put my foot in a muddy puddle and then so she, I, I I have some content. She from accidentally stepped on a heroin needle. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest fear in like the world. I won't like go shoeless on Venice Beach. No, no, no. Yeah, good idea. Good. Yeah, I'll go up to Zuma when I do the beach content. Which I looked up what content people feet people like. I didn't want to look too much into it because I wanted to type, come up with my own creative type, stuff. Did you type what do feet people like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know what the word is, word, wording I used. Um, I I wore this. I've never put on this dress before. This is about a $10 dress from Amazon. But I thought maybe it was the perfect Easter. We're recording on Easter. It's Sunday night. And the perfect, we, we started our OnlyFans announcement. Um, so go check it out. We've got, I've got some, I recorded some, content at the hollywood roosevelt the other night when i came to see your show before i had a panic attack and ran away i had a panic attack and turned out to be the right <laughs> josh i want to thank you so much okay so i went to so there's some content from the hollywood roosevelt i have 
uh, someone suggested I should have like a, a heel dangling off my foot, which I did, and it does look really when, nice. Uh, when I set up the computer at the Hollywood Roosevelt uh, for my backdrop, I hadn't taken this down, so when I on the screen it, it jump it popped on first. There was a gigantic hard plastic comedy on the screen. Wow, thank you. That's so cool. All right, but you missed it because of the panic attack. No, you, I'm kidding. <laughs> it was so I was so I met Josh at his show. We sat upstairs. Josh is so nice. He always he comes and sits with me for a minute upstairs with the bitchy that- ass cocktail waitress I get every time. I mean, <laughs> God. But also, also, I feel like I know that during the show, I'm going to be like very distracted. Like, well, you were very distracted sitting up there with me, which I understand. You're I'm doing always, your yeah, show. I'm I, always very distracted. But I don't, but, before but a show, most... before performing or before doing something that I really care about, I go very inward. So, like, I probably wouldn't have met you. Like, I, I can't I'm not, do that. I'm not relaxed until my band has gotten in their cars to head home. Yeah, 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 yeah. But seriously, because like, like the last, the final thing to worry about is them getting their valet taken care of. Gotcha. So that's Well, like, that's what slowed me down running out of there the other night. They're like, I'm going to the other bathroom. I was like, Hillary's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that was my second time trying to leave. So I, okay, so I go to Josh's show. I'm like, Hillary's, and I like, Hillary's out of here. I like the Hollywood Roosevelt, uh, lobby bar what do you call that lounge area it's nice uh it's touristy and we did look up how much of the rooms were and it explains what the people look like walking through sorry <laughs> sorry um but it's a nice atmosphere i do like going and sitting there and so i go down to your show and I got to say, thank you so much for texting me later that night and being like, <laughs> like you were like, yeah, whatever. Like it was shitty for you. You didn't have a good experience because it validated me in a way that's so satisfying because I was sitting there and I, get, I, I got there too early. So I had all that time to sit there and ruminate. But then the, the people coming in, I just got this feeling of like, it felt so deep in the matrix to me, that group of people, and I freaked, and I I was like, I got to go. It was weird. I've never had, it's it was, it was the weirdest energy I've ever seen in that room in two years of doing the show. It was weird. It was weird. And I was like, I'm not getting, I went I out there go. with all this confidence that I was going to break them too, and did not. And they wouldn't, what, were they not laughing? What was the? The only laughs I really got were at one point someone said I was like meant I said impotence and somebody said you're using too big a words I'm like impotence I was like okay pee pee no work um <laughs> I was like is that small enough yeah it it was it was weird I think they might have all been NPCs NPCs right non something characters what, what I don't know what that means uh, people that don't actually they're sort of filler people in the video game. Oh. They don't really have a full storyline. <laughs> and if you get too many of them in one spot, it's Deborah a weird Deborah killed. Deborah Deborah's a murderer and Deborah Well, it does the comedians weren't the NPCs. It was no, the no, audience. No, no, I'm saying like Yeah. The, oh, oh, the so host had a real rough it. set. Were you there for his set at least? No, you I left, left before. I left when you so I left. I was like, "Oh, Josh isn't at the door." I got out of there. I got to the valet and realized that I left my card back there oh. so then i had to go back and then you saw me leaving the second time and you were like oh hillary where are you going and i had yeah, just he's, he's, passed the bathroom and i was <laughs> and we'll go to the other one i was like uh, she's getting out of here <laughs> so i ran to craig's take me with you and uh <laughs> and but you know what happened i had been on the wrong we're gonna get into quantum fi- quantum physics a little bit i had been on the wrong timeline for a few weeks and sometimes you have to go back and organize some of the energy to get back on track. And so my main consciousness was on the wrong timeline. And it was, I was still having fun, you know, and, and, and feeling good and connecting with people. But there was weeks of like, oh, this is rough. It's like, you know, when you have to clean out your closet and you have to make more of a mess. Mm-hmm. And then you get it all, whatever. It's kind of like that. So I got my mate getting, sensing that energy and getting out of there 
got my timeline, got me jumped back into the, into the, into the right timeline. So my most present consciousness is now set back in. And I went to Craig's and got treated like the princess that I am, as I do when I'm there. What's Craig's? It's the, it's the restaurant that I like to go oh, to. Okay. And I even, you know, got my energy back with the, you know, I, the security guard had, you know, whatever. And uh, that got settled nicely in a way that, you know, is good. And uh, everything's, I woke up the next day feeling great. And so I really think it for me was, it's like uh, in the labyrinth when she's walking through the maze and she's she stuck and she doesn't know where to go. And then finally she finds like the door. She It's like hidden. It's like she, it's the way to get out is sort of like through the wall, but there's a seat. You can't see it. I got out through the wall. I got out through the wall. And now it's it's all feet and money for me. Only going up. <laughs> so sorry about the show. Uh, I would so that's the only thing I felt so you texted me and you let me know that you're like uh, and I was like oh that's so nice but the thing with me is yeah, I, I was, wouldn't I, like, I, I would have laughed I, need it. I know I would have laughed for you, you really. gotta bring you gotta bring a friend next yeah time. well I don't do that <laughs> it's like come meet up you know I don't do that no you, you'd have a good time yeah, well, I was at when I was at Craig's, my waiter friend, who's just a friend, everybody relax. I realized I was fucking around. I fuck around. Like one time I put in my bio in a relationship, maybe with like hearts next to it or something. I was lying. I just fuck around. Wait, wait, wait. When, <laughs> when was this? It was a while ago. Like pre pre marriage? No. Oh, oh, oh. No, like six months ago. Oh, I don't okay, know. Okay, I just okay, fuck okay. around. One time I posted a story. That said, my boyfriend and I made sweet love last night. I was lying. I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Never did. I just like to fuck around. You know what I don't like is I don't like it if there's dudes that follow my Instagram, like only if I'm living my life a certain way. Like if I had a boyfriend, they wouldn't want to follow it. I like to scare them away a little bit. You don't need to. I also don't like people to think that they can really know everything about me. From either the podcast, which I lie on here all the time. I lie on Instagram. You know. Just more fun. I've never lied. Yeah. I know, Josh. You're a nice Jewish boy. That's what we like about you. I don't think you do lie a lot. I don't think you do lie a lot. Maybe a little white lie here and there. A little white lie here Yeah, and there. like I can't make it because whatever. Okay, so I had more fun. Um, well, I... I I, I will on threads a lot. Like I'll say something people, <laughs> people will really react to like clearly false things I'm writing on threads, but like, but like they're clearly false. Like what? Well, I, here, this isn't an example of necessarily something clearly false. Um, but I wrote something once like, uh, the hardest part of promoting comedy shows is trying to convince people to come to something I'd never go to. And then like people were like, oh, well, you know what? Who, the, whoever shows you're promoting should hire me instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you should yeah, come, yeah, should come yeah. see one of my shows and yeah. tell me I'm doing Another a Another NPC job. that got <laughs> their hands on a computer. Exactly. So uh, neither here nor there, but you know what I thought would be really fun? The, the, the doctors where? are what's that then where neither here nor there <laughs> neither here nor what you were talking about and i was saying then where then where then where i on on dimensions i think that's going to be a new thing i say to people i say neither here nor there how often do people say neither here nor there do you I think i think frequently but i'm just starting this now i do this thing now when people say how have you been I go could complain. We talked about we did this yeah, bit already. I know, I know, Josh. but I'm adding new. But you still delivered it. Could complain. Could complain. Could complain. Could complain. A little higher on the could. Could could, could complain. Could complain. Could complain. Okay, so the doctors, <laughs> the doctors are on a timeout. The doctors are on a timeout, and but you know what I w thought would be fun is all this education, no brains. So. What the doctors? All this education, no brains. <laughs> yeah, I mean, God. I watched a really movie last brutal. night where there was a plastic surgeon in it, and he was like poor in the movie. I was like, "What the hell is this?" 
You watched a movie about a poor plastic surgeon? No, I watched a movie, and there was a character who was a plastic surgeon, and he kept being like, I don't have any money. That'll be a few of them if I have anything to No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They're all really good. They're all really good. Who's going to do my facelift in this lighting? Yeah, are you are you ever worried about like a revenge surgery for something you don't even remember you said about someone on some episode of the wow, podcast? Wow, like even? there's this, I really want to, like I know they look great, but I really am ready to get my tits done. I'm really ready to like but have a already, little fun. You've already alienated all the good boob doctors? Well, <laughs> I still would, I still only want to go to my surgeon. I, I My thing is like this, is I am, I am, inc- no matter all the drama, I can get past it. Uh, but I am incredibly loyal and my intention with people is if someone's like with you, you'd have to really piss me off for me to go work with someone else. Like I like familiarity and I like to be consistent with people for a long period (laughs) of time. So that would, I I like relationships that are safe, that like it's this one person and they're going to take care of me in that journey. And that's like who I go to. But this one guy does boobs really well and particularly, and they all do, but this guy's, I really like his boobs, but yeah, I've said, I, I, he's one of them that I, I joke accidentally murdered, accidentally murdered a hooker in a hotel room. He just has this, there's... I read it as anger somewhere inside, although he seems like a very nice guy. Puts all that anger into your boobs. Put all that anger into my (laughs) boobs, yeah. And so, yeah, I guess I would be afraid of him. I keep seeing all these, like, scars on people's boobs and porn, like, from, like... They scar... You know, the breast implant stuff is depending on how you do it, and I'm very particular about where the I nipple just, like, is. I would not. I would not want... And I think I would want my nipple moved up, because sometimes they put the the implant in and I would want a little fullness up here, which isn't technically natural. Like the teardrop one is more natural, but then you really still have to wear. So I want a still a little fullness up here and it pushes. So my nipples still, they look up, which I think is ideal and it pushes the top up. And so now the nipple at best is looking straight forward. And I think, I don't know, because I've like, never had a boob like, consultation. You're like, hey, nipples, my eyes are up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like them <laughs> winking at me. So I I think this scar, so you can do like a scar down here, you can do a scar here, but sometimes it's like an anchor scar where it's here and then here. And I think sometimes that has to do with a lift and the nipple moving, but I, but I, I don't, don't even, really I don't know. get like, 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 to me, I'm like having to... Have a scar to get. I boob- was I was shocked when I saw when I started to but realize like, like you what can't you can't get a boob job without a scar. It they depends. Can't, they can't just like kind of cut around the nipple so it just looks like your nipple and then like like fit it in there. I think they can. I don't, I've listened to so much. I'd be so upset if I like, spent all this money on and tits. And I still can't remember the answer to these questions. I feel like I'd be upset if I spent all this money on tits and then I got scars and shit. I know. You know. So does it bother you? Does it distract you when you see the porn and you see the scars? I just I notice it because that's what the that's what the consult lady said to me. She looked at my boobs and was like, "You want to put scars in those?" And I was like, "Well, it'd be fun, you know." I no, I guess not. Uh, but I also I'm fu- I mean, the scars would bother me, but I'm a little fucked up too in that like I have like a pain pleasure thing, so. Being, like when I'm beat up from dance, I guess short of, that's hot. Short of being in porn, people aren't seeing the scars until it's too late anyway. Too, <laughs> too late to run out of the room. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. God, get these <laughs> giant breasts away from me. They're so perfect looking, except for those except for that except hideous for that, scar. Yeah, except for that fucking crazy ass scar. I gotta look. I'd probably more be into like it. lying to it, like, yeah, I got double stabbed in a bar fight. <laughs> Well, you know, right you know, right the exact same spot on both tits. <laughs> yeah, these are sexy scars. <laughs> they're, they're totally real tits. You should see what the, that, the guy you stabbed me looks like. 
both of them. Uh, Okay, so the doctors are on a timeout. I really was processing some emotion over that. I can't even, since our last episode, I haven't looked at their, I can't look at their social media. I can't, I just need a cleansing from, you know what it reminds me of? Did you see the sketch from, uh, Upright Citizens Brigade, the show that they had, The Bucket of Truth. They've got this incredible sketch of The Bucket of Truth. Yeah. And Amy Poehler. I, I it's like, so they're one. they're house shopping and they buy this house or they're, sh- or they're, they're sh- the realtor show in Africa what the, the thing is. But they, and The Bucket of Truth is just like part of the house in the living room, I believe. It's sort of like a well yeah. in the backyard, but it's, it's like, like part of the house in the living room. first season. Too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it be the first episode. It's, I think it is. And Amy Poehler does such a good job. She, they're like, you don't want to look, just don't look in the bucket of truth. And they're like, no, she, so she looks in the bucket of truth and you see her face every, and like as a woman too, like every, everything she sees, she just is, she just does such such a great job and she loses her mind and runs out of the house. And I feel like a little bit, because I kept going with the, with the whole plastic surgery, like Beverly Hills people. I was like, gosh, this is such untapped content. There is so much stuff here to play with. And there's so much potential. And I wasn't exactly sure what it was or where it was going to go. But I was like, there's just so much to work with here. And then I felt like I looked into the bucket of truth and was like, you know what, guys? <laughs> you can have it. Just let me live my little whatever. I'll do feet. I'll stick with feet. So right now we're on feet. But I did have our fun. So I had the the mishap of booking the wrong hotel room, which God shined on me and gently ushered me in the right direction because that was absolutely the move was to not be at the, at the conference. And, and the only reason being is that I – what's that? No, no, no. Go on. What were you going to say? This isn't the first episode since you didn't do the conference. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, this oh, is okay. the big what happened that weekend. Okay, I talked to you about it at the Roosevelt. That's why I feel like yeah, I talked yeah, to yeah, you yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Maybe I said, I was in a, was in a state of... Yeah. So, so, I, so I go to... So I saw footage from the, from the conference, and I, I severely underestimated... And I don't mean this in a mean way, in a bad way... But I didn't realize what a nerd fest it was. I didn't understand. And I mean that in that just a group of people that, you know, very much like one time at band camp kind of thing. So it, I wouldn't have want, it, it would, I would have been too much for everybody. That would have been, and it would have been jarring because they have their little thing. It's like, you know, let them have their, their, their nerds. Like it's not even, I don't even think it was a lot of surgeons. It was a lot of aesthetic people who, and this is the only reason why I don't, it's so like, let them have their little nerd prom. You know, if I had my, if I was sort of watching from the outskirts and maybe encouraging people to come, it's, it, it, it wasn't, I wouldn't have made fun of it. But it wasn't, they don't need, they can have their privacy. You know what I'm saying? Like, let them have their fun. With that said, what I don't like is that a lot of the people that are hosting and talking and teaching at these things look insane. And then they're teaching people that maybe are or are not. Look insane from like a work done perspective? Yeah. That. And then they're teaching people that are trying to cash in on whatever and, and maybe smart and maybe not how to make other people look as crazy as the people teaching. And I'm not for it. You know, I, I think there's a lot of whatever taking advantage of. And then there were surgeons there, but I didn't know what their schedule was. And it it wouldn't – I'm just – Maybe it would have been fun. I don't know. But again, I checked into the right hotel. So this was my experience of my little staycation at the Beverly Wilshire, which (laughs) was so enjoyable. So I get there and I have 
my other pink dress that for whatever reason this dress another ten dollar cotton dress from amazon just drives people crazy they love this dress so i had before that i had come from hyperbaric and i'm walking through the garage to go up to my appointment and some woman's walking by with her wrist because it's like in a rehabilitation center building and she's walking by with her wrist all wrapped up and she's like oh so pretty something like that i'm like thank you and then I get up. It's like, I wasn't talking <coughs> to you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> and then I get into the elevator and I'm walking off the elevator. And the woman coming on is like, wow, what a beautiful outfit. I'm like, well, thank you so much. And then I get into hyperbaric. And one of the techs, who's always very flattering, is very flattering to me. It was very nice. I go, this dress. This dress is something. I don't know what drives people crazy. Not this one. A different one. But like this. This one matches the logo. I know. I thought the pink with the with look, the OnlyFans looks, announcement looks on, and the, the camera and the yeah, I figured it might. I don't know about all this, but it's fine. So, so I check into the hotel, and I'm walking across the large lobby, and I get to the. I pick the person that I choose to grace with my presence, and as I'm walking up to her, she goes, "Wow." Your smile just lights up the room. I could see you coming from all the way across there in this large. And she goes on and on and on and on. I go, I'm sold. I'm, this is great. Rocky and I develop a very close relationship. By the time I'm done checking in, we're holding hands. And she's walking to me, walking me to the elevator. I mean, this is, I have found my people, Josh. I mean, bring me to places where I'm appreciated. That's all I want. So Rocky is engaged. That was her last night working there. And maybe possibly today she's moving to West Africa with her fiance. She blessed me because she wanted me to meet a man. And she gave me a blessing. And she said, when it happens, find me, let, f connect with somebody here and let me know in West Africa. I said, okay, Rocky, I will. We hugged a few times, and she... Where in West Africa? I don't know. <laughs> She's what, where in West Africa? The, 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 the West is the only part that I would feel like I could point out West Africa in some way on the map. Well, I'm just like, is she on the Ivory Coast? Is she in Ghana, Guinea? Josh, you're talking to the wrong person. Sierra Leone? Yeah. Togo? Yep. That's what I was thinking. Which one of those places? That's West Africa right there. Oh, it's on that side? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I was curious what's considered. I was curious what's considered. Like, you said she's going to South Africa. I'd be like, all right, well, I know where that is. Well, that's why I was surprised because I repeated it back to her and I said South Africa. And she's like, no, West Africa. And I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Okay, so I check in. I check in. And I go to... What did I do? Oh, I went to Cut. I went to Cut and I got a steak. And I had a lovely conversation with the bartender. And then Kevin sitting next to me. Kevin had a very interesting job. Kevin, Josh will like this. Kevin's job was to depending on what the movie was who the actors were in it and what date it was set to come out or he helped pick the date or whatever it was could predict how financially well a movie was going to do to 90 percent accuracy and that's his job no way and i said kevin you're autistic and he said i don't think i have anything special or genius about me i said that's not what i said i said i just said you're autistic i've just gotten lucky and turned that into a hollywood career oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. so we iron, had a nice conversation iron. he you guys took want a little to make time a movie, to you guys want to make a movie iron man 3 i'm gonna predict that one does well <laughs> i don't get it is that <laughs> iron man 3 is that o obvious yeah, yeah okay yeah 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 he well he said I said he could use my help because he was like, I mean, nobody could predict how well Barbie was going to do. And I was like, that from a man, from a man. 
Let me tell you about these ding dongs out there. Have you ever looked at social media? Why so are there so like many what, painful women on social like media? What the numbers will be? Like what the actual? Yeah, to ninety percent. And I pushed him on that. He kept repeating, "No, ninety percent accuracy." He said, "I was like, geez." Does anyone fact check him on this? <laughs> he seen he was uh he it's was a very funny, unassuming it's just such a funny hollywood career guy well he was truly like autistic uh in and i'm also just like i'm also just like okay he's talking about barbie i'm just like i'm i'm like i'm like come on let's 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 get him in on some of these like kind of weirder movies i don't i i didn't ask the range of did he ask him his formula at all? Or? Well, I was asking him about the end of the world, and I said, you know, what helicopter are we getting on? What bunker are we going to? And He's he like, said, oh, it's going to make about no, no, $7 no. billion. Dollars, he's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, he's he, he'd pop pills and get out of here. He said, no, I'm not. We're not. You're not going to want to be around. And I said, uh, I'm talking to the wrong person. He's not up the chain high enough. Not at least, He was... What I was saying was uh, Elam, get, Illuminati adjacent. You want to get in one of those meta bunkers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you're out there, I will be a it's not a I think it's a term for a man. Uh, I'll be a, a, a geisha esque. Gasha geisha geisha geisha. Thank you. Geisha esque. Servant. Or just give me some pills and I'll and I'll get out of here. One or the other. But I don't want to do the whole rationing. Are there any thing. good movies made inside like about like me, like like one of those billionaire bunkers, post apocalypse billionaire <laughs> bunker movie? <laughs> yeah, there's, that's a good setting for something. I've seen <laughs> bunker movies, but like I want. It'd I want, be boring. Like, it's just people very comfortably I want, living. Like, I want like the Zuckerberg <laughs> bunker movie. Yeah. Well, I think he's got he's he's building one. So that's what I'm saying. I know he's building one. Oh. So okay. So then okay. This is, so this is my escape room. I'm leaving. So now I'm leaving them. I'm leaving the men. You know, at the height of my charm, and the bartender thanks me for adding a little spice to the evening before I go. I didn't even think I was particularly spicy, but. You're welcome, gentlemen. And before I leave, Kevin, our movie buff, tells me that I should watch Poor Things. Now, this is where he's... Did he guess Poor Things' success? I believe he did, yeah. I believe he did. Uh, I'm not sure what about me made him suggest that I should watch it, but he's like, you should watch it. You Wait, a Hollywood watch movie things. justifying pedophilia? We're going to do well on this one. I know. I wish, and here's the thing, I didn't even get to enjoy the sex scenes because Maria was in my room changing my sheets and going above and beyond when I said, just change the sheets, that's all I need, Maria, with a little Spanish. She didn't speak any English, so I got to do a little of that. Apparently, I wasn't speaking the correct language because she she went, she went hanging out for a while, and I was like, Maria, I'm trying to watch this child Maria, porn to... here. And I gotta do my business. So I was I <laughs> trying to I was trying, <laughs> I was trying to pause it, and then it was like only allowed so many pauses, and so then I was like fast forwarding. I was like, this is the most stressful situation I've been in in a long time. You've you've exceeded your number of pauses allowed for the <laughs> film. You must now sit and watch. What? It, you, there's no way there is a pause limit. I think at renting a movie on a on a hotel TV, no, there no, there was a pause limit. Josh, no, I what would I I you I, get forty eight hours to watch the movie. There's no pause. Josh, limit. it wouldn't let me pause it anymore. I had to start fast forwarding. I didn't want to make Maria uncomfortable. Hillary will take blame for nothing. And There's, I was so confused. <laughs> I was. It, it couldn't have been that uh, that the remote was dying or I was pressing Josh, the wrong I button. Mean, it's the, so. We all know about the four seasons. Just the Four Seasons Five Star Resort and Spas pause limit for movie rentals. <laughs> this was part of the timeline shifting forbid, that was going on. God forbid on. they do anything to force you to stay inside of your room and not cost them any more money while you're yeah, spending yeah. all that money. To <laughs> Let's be there. get her through this. <laughs> Let's get her to the next movie. Increase the pauses. <laughs> We got a woman in room 405. She's trying to pause seven times. Should we allow it? <laughs> Give her 10. And then cut her off. <laughs> 
So here at the Four Seasons Resort and Spa, you do not get to experience the full breadth of the film without sitting through it in one viewing. So I didn't get through why... (laughs) God, your Hitler impression is, is is working out great, Josh. So I didn't get through the whole film. And I don't really want to get into it. But it was upsetting. It, it It's upsetting to me for the reason that I understand it was entertaining. But people's interpretation of it, the reason that they're interpreting it as like, oh, I liked it. And it's something about like now thinking back, I watched, I heard part of Emma Stone's acceptance speech. And now I'm even more disturbed that she, that's, that's women's idea of, of, of female empowerment. Hey, not, you know, Bill Clinton thought the film was, he was talking about how much he loved it. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, exactly. You know, somebody wants to 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 tell me that, and so then you see the the discourse on like I was looking at discourse on on TikTok and 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 whatever, and anyone who suggested that the film was promoting pedophilia, which I'm not going to say it was promoting pedophilia, I am going to suggest that the film. I don't know. I got to read more about the who wrote it and directed it, but. The, I believe that the what it's pointing out is that men prefer a childlike, innocent, sexual, not asking too many questions, legal bodied person. And, and that's true. Let's say, and that's what okay. the movie was with a baby brain. And tell me, and people go, no, no, no. She had baby physicality. Let's say a movie comes out called Rich Things, and it's about into it. I'm so turned on. And it's about a four year old woman whose brain a four year old woman forty forty oh whose brain is put into a six year old. <laughs> now is this? Less disturbing. It is less disturbing when that four-year-old woman hits her sexual f- peak in her forties. But she's so in- you're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> I am a. Kid. So here's the other thing that I always I always talk about. I'm like, oh, I like like a pervert. It's not that I li- or no, I say creep. You like it, a creep. It, a creep, but I don't mean like creep. I mean people. Words are semantics, whatever. But I like someone that keep it up. I like someone that, like, likes sex and, like, sex, like, I like dirty, kind of nasty. And when you're healed more sexually, you can enjoy the dirty, nasty, boundary-pushing sex legally. And, but when people aren't healed and you suggest that that movie's about pedophilia, they're going to go, no, 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 it's not. Because they don't want to sit with like, oh, that turned me on a little bit. I want to see a sequel to Poor Things where all the men are put on trial and then, and then, right, and like, then they, what's and then they fight, they fight the trial about whether or not they're yeah, pedophiles yeah, 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 yeah. or what they did. How was long okay. was her brain in the body for? So like when what's his face comes up to her and she's sitting in that little nook and he and he goes and touches her between her legs and and she doesn't react other than in a way that a young child would just sort of like, ah, oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> and he goes, I just wanted to see if you were real. What do you guys think that means? He wanted to see if anyway, I don't want to get deep into it because I, I don't want people to come at me, but people get real upset about this movie. But it's, you know, I'm not saying I'm not saying there's good and there's did bad. See, Obviously, abusing children is bad. Did you see licorice pizza? No. Oh, interesting. But then this coming you out. See licor- watch uh, licorice pizza. Am next, I going to be next, crying in my hotel next, room again? Next episode. Well, it's different because it's it's about a like 20 early 20s woman and like uh like 15 or something year old boy no no <laughs> i will not watch that they that doesn't a, do it they for just me have a deep friendship all. they just have a deep friendship and ha- like harold and maud i i understand it's like a sweet i like the movie but i don't that doesn't that doesn't do anything well, he looked me. more boyish than he was 
Thanks, Joe. Gosh, you said that in a <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> really looked, trying to sell me looked, on the movie. I'm glad you like it so much, Josh. Than he was. In I'm glad. Harold and Maud. <laughs> <laughs> he looked more. Oh, you're talking about Harold and Maud. He looked more boyish than he was. Um, yeah, and then the timing of the. Well, you know what's interesting is it's. In, uh, I, I don't know where these things come from, but. So this it's the same time you saw I was asking you the the Nickelodeon stuff that came out the quiet on set stuff which is I mean poor did you watch it? Binds. I did not watch the documentary but I saw the clips that needed to be seen from from the documentary the 25 and 15 Emily Fresh Pizza 25 and 15 it's just but so it's, young she's, boys she's, it's she's mm-mm. 25 he's, he's I get it it's but he's he's kind of chubby <laughs> oh this is the best he's gonna do well, you should have started this with is, that this guy's what is that is gonna bet that's the best he can do as a 25 year old do. at 25 years old can you be a, you could be a high school teacher are there 25 year old high school teachers yes yeah uh okay but they don't do anything do, well they, they maybe there's one kiss well you know of course i love um I don't like the cheating aspect of too it many, too many too many hollywood him, movies but about lost in translation Oh, take me to Japan. Yeah, but there's nothing pedophilia about that. Well, I guess he's just older than her. Yeah, he's older. But there's no, but there's no, there's no affair. There's no physical affair. There, they don't that is kiss. an affair. Just in case anyone's curious, it's an emotional affair. Yeah, they're like, is that they're, worse? Uh, okay, here's a hypothetical. If anyone hurt me one way or the other, I'm just saying you. I'll you, destroy. Yeah, you. I know you're going to destroy both of these people. But which one are you more viciously going to destroy? The one who's having loveless sex with prostitutes or the one who has no physical affair but like has like a full on in love with somebody else that that nothing physical. Well, you know, they remain faithful. I'm a jealous bitch, so it's a little hard to say. But what's interesting is the the emotional stuff would I mean, that that's a that would bother you more. yeah, it's worse than I guess like a prostitute, but I'd be like this if it was the product. Like, this isn't fulfilling every <laughs> <laughs> urgent desire you have. <laughs> there, uh, a crush that I have is the only person that I've ever truly felt like I'm like I would love to watch them have sex with someone else. Like it turns me on. Like it. Is like yeah, but that's but that's but that's, but not but that's behind not, my back, yeah, that's, not that's, secretly. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. uh, which one would hurt worse? I don't know. They're both dead at the end. What do you want me to say? Uh, the emotional affair would hurt worse, I guess, but I wouldn't stick around for after. Yeah, the, I don't either. I don't of them. see a lot. Of, is, is it also? Are you a cuck in the theme? Can you be like a lady cuck? I don't know. Is it the same term? Probably not. So you know what I realized was a turn on was uh, the first time I ever s- saw Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, John. Squeal like a piggy. I was like, you like watching men get raped by other men. A straight man. Yeah. <laughs> That's this is fucked up, Hillary. I know, <laughs> but it really turns me on. That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Like it makes them more masculine. Get out of my house. <laughs> no. I know. I, I just it. I don't know when it. It, it makes them more. Ma- it me. makes it makes the guy raping the guy more masculine. No, the guy. The guy getting rape. raped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then come fuck me. Oh God. I. I mean. I know. I'm so. I don't mean to like. In, I don't. I know it's very sensitive, come, but like that's come, how I feel about it. Then come ignore your pain inside me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Then come let me distract you. Yeah. Hurt me. From, from the, yeah, yeah, from the hurt you feel. Yeah. Yeah. So hot to me. Insane. I know. Well, have a great week.